We are kicking off the day with a quick look at what we're calling the big number that's catching our attention, like this one. The staggering figure from the Bureau of Labor showing the number of job openings in the U.S., get this, at an all-time high of 9.3 million as we're coming out of this pandemic here in America as of the last business day in April. So that's good news, but we're still yeah. talking about this pandemic. And uh, well, this is so funny. We rename, I say we, but yeah. the renaming of the variants, right. right? But uh, I was calling this Delta variant of COVID-19, um, but some more attention being paid to into this one and for good reason. Why? That's correct. And those those names like Delta yeah. are so that we can drop those confusing numbers that just too, took too long to say. B and we're <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yesterday, a lot of attention on this so-called Delta variant. Here's what we need to know about it. It originated in India. That was the major circulating strain there and currently is. It is now detected in at least 62 countries, including here in the United States. That should not be a surprise to anyone. It is currently the dominant strain circulating in the UK. Multiple mutations in this strain, you guys, and it is thought to be, based on studies, 40 to 60 percent more transmissible. And I want to be clear, in this case, more transmissible does, in fact, mean more dangerous, because once you increase the denominator, the number of people infected with COVID-19, of course, that increases the number of people likely to get serious complications and unfortunately die. So a lot of attention on this variant. Mm -hmm. All right. And there is some other big medical news today. Jesse Tyler Ferguson, a big show, a friend of our show, yeah. uh, has announced, unfortunately, that he has skin cancer. He did catch it early. And this is something for everybody to think about as we're heading into summer. Correct. But not just summer, Amy, as you know, 12 months out of the year, awareness, awareness, awareness. So one in five adults in this country will face a diagnosis of skin cancer at some point in their lifetime. Malignant melanoma is the most deadly, but basal cell, squamous cell, much more common, much more easily treatable. Of course, finding it early with a routine skin check or if you observe something changing on your body is critical. Mm -hmm. Dermatologists reminding people, especially as you say this summer, one ounce of sunscreen needs to be reapplied every two hours. Use more, not less. Skin cancer can affect people of all skin colors and it can occur anywhere on the body. So use more of that sunscreen. And we certainly wish, wish Jesse yeah. the very best. Definitely. I'm sure. Thank goodness he caught it early. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.